everyone and welcome to another newscast. My name is Sam Healy and in this video we're going to tell you all of the latest news about our projects as well as the company. As always, if you don't want to watch the entire video, you can skip to the parts that interest you by utilizing the timestamps in the description below. This week we only have a few tidbits of information on a few of our projects, so let's get to it. Now first off, several of our staff members are still on vacation until the end of August, so news and production updates may be spotty until then, but we'll do the best that we can to keep everyone updated as much as possible. So we do thank you so much for being patient during this time of vacationing for our people. I, for one, am happy to be getting back to a bit of a routine. Vacations are great, don't get me wrong, but there's a lot to be said about getting back to a routine. Concerning the errata packs for our Australian and New Zealand backers with Reichbusters, this is just a reminder that your errata packs are on the Steam Watchers container set to arrive in port soon. When we have more detailed information, we'll definitely get it to you. Now, I've also read this week that there's still an issue going on with the VFI Asia and the errata packs that are there. Our fulfillment manager is going to be contacting them and we'll figure out what's going on as soon as we can. For our Polish backers with Enchanters this week, game deliveries have started. If you've not received your address and verification email yet, make sure to check your spam folder. If you still can't find it, please contact us at support at mythicgames.net and we'll do the best we can to help ensure that your game gets to where it's supposed to be going as quickly as we possibly can. For Steam Watchers this week, we experienced an issue with container pickup for the hub in the EU that has since been resolved. Deliveries from Meeple Logistics should be starting soon. Once we have an official date that deliveries will start, we'll put an update in the comments section and on our Discord channel. For our Australia and New Zealand backers, VR Distribution has received notification that the container will be arriving at port soon. For North America, our 40-foot container that has all the fulfillment orders is leaving Hong Kong on the 14th, and we'll have more updated shipping information next week. For Darkest Dungeon today, I just thought we'd share the update that was posted on the Kickstarter updates last week to cover all the bases, so to speak. It's a continuation of our Boss Spotlight series and focuses on the Collector. The twisted faces of the damned piled high and cloaked in malice, as the ancestor put it. The Collector's existence is fixed on collecting valuables and eldritch artifacts along with the souls of those who carry them. It comes as no surprise then that its theme is based around messing with your loot. When in the hamlet, heroes will find it difficult to buy trinkets from the Nobad Wagon as they mysteriously disappear from their stock. On higher level, the Collector's greedy presence will manipulate the poor character into stealing gold from the heroes. Down in the dungeons, the heroes might find out that valuable curios are already collected long before they reach them and their provisions mysteriously missing when they set camp to rest. Fighting the Collector is not an easy task either. On his turn, it will summon forth the souls of heroes he collected in the past to fight on its side. A clever one the Collector is, as each soul it summons takes the form of a different hero with different capabilities. The soul of a man-at-arms to hold the front, a highwayman to shoot against the heroes from afar, and the soul of a Vestal to heal its wounds. All that as he stays in the back, hammering the heroes with his own stressful and self-healing attacks. Its room is a tight twist of dark corridors, but on the far end, there's loot to gather if the heroes can manage. Now remember that Leo is back from vacation too, and will be live tomorrow at 6 p.m. GMT, 1 p.m. Eastern Time on our YouTube channel with a live Q&A in English and at 8.30 p.m. Paris Time with a live Q&A in French. So tune in if you have any questions or just to see what he might spoil. But even if it doesn't spoil anything, it's usually a pretty fun time, so go ahead and check that out. But that's it for this week. Stay safe, play some games while you're at it, and we'll see you on the flip side. Take care. <laughs>